hey guys how's going so from now on next few videos we're going to talk about a uh, smart money trading concept and order block strategy so i had lay out the 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 outline of the kind of course you can say that uh, uh, in three phases uh, basics and a little bit intermediate and last phase is faq uh, <clears throat> this is is kind of a if you go in the market and try to buy the course it will cost you around maybe more than $1000 uh, they will teach the same concept uh, from now on i will i will teach the same with my understanding and my refinement uh, going forward we will have some weekly outlook of the market what we're looking uh, to happen probably let's say next week and we go go it from there okay so without further ado let's get started so the course is outlined like this uh, one is the basic uh, in which we'll teach talk about uh, what is order block how to refine order block what is price inefficiency uh, and next is solidify highs and lows and you know uh, there are highs and lows in the market but how to identify the solidify highs and lows and next topic is you know market structure and break up structure how to how to confirm break up structure and stuff we'll go deeper into the uh, that when the topic comes in, into the video and so on like you know uh, so it's entire uh, uh, order block strategy with you know very high risk reward uh, uh, and it's completely free so i hope i will be giving some value uh, without further ado let's go start it okay so uh, uh, today's topic will be uh, what is an order block so just remember this point this is absolutely extremely inform- important to understand what is order block why they happen in the market okay so without this understanding you will not make it. I, i guarantee you will not make it okay so let's understand what is an order block so theoretically order block means is like a a last bullish candle before bearish impulse or a last bearish candle before big bullish impulse for example let's say uh, this is an example okay so what's happening in the market so it's going uh, initially it was bearish then it break the structure here structure the and, and it's it's bullish now okay now when you identify the order block so we need to uh, identify the last bearish candle which broke the structure so this move up uh, is this is the high the highest point and that highest point is got broken here so we'll mark bos is a break of structure okay so we'll we'll mark that as break of structure so now find it out what is the last bearish candle which broke the structure you see that this candle is an order block so i was on the 15 minute actually but let's say yeah okay so this red candle is an order block price will come back to here before next impulse and why is that see the this kind of impulse happens uh when the institutions big institutions uh, get involved for example like financial institutions big banks hedge funds when they get involved in the market this kind of big impulse happen ordinary trader like you and me kind of a retail trader do not move the market like this we are just at the lowest uh in the in the pyramid okay now when when they move a market uh, impulsively up they they left some order here 
uh, they don't for example they uh, retail traders you and me use a, a stop losses they don't use a stop losses so they need to come back to mitigate their losses here before next big move and that's the logic behind the strategy uh, so institutions will come back to mitigate their orders they will close their the sell orders uh, for little loss or break even and then big move happens okay so that's uh, that's the crux of it uh, so in theoretically last uh, bullish can uh, bearish candle red candle before big impulse now this is one example like okay so they the the price came back to here tap it here before next big move okay so <clears throat> next break of structure is this and this is actually the order block so we'll talk about refinement and stuff uh, and liquidity grab this is a lg uh, liquidity grab i will talk about in coming days okay but for now just say this is the last candle before big impulse price has to come back here before next break of structure so here is next next break of structure is this and this is the last red candle before uh, this break of structure again okay and so on this this is the uh, out of block this is out of block okay now this is example for uh, bearish for bullish move you see the break of structure here okay that's the break of structure uh, and this you know this is on one minute but there will be a candle on 30 second or on lower time frame sell candle in this candle which is an order block Okay, and that will move the next impulse. And this is a live market, so uh, for the next BOS, uh, this is the last uh, bearish candle before the bullish impulse. Okay. So the price has to come back here, not immediately in future. Okay, so it it doesn't respect like that. It doesn't happen like that. Okay, it will come um, soon in any time soon in the future. Uh, mitigate this those orders and then move. It doesn't has to be like you know next before next move. It has to come back there. It doesn't like it doesn't work like that. Okay. So just uh, understand this uh, concepts. Uh, you know. Uh, it's very very important to um, get this strategy understanding and working around and basically it's a it's 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 a simple like you know so you need to identify uh, in case of bullish move uh, red candle or bearish candle before big impulse okay so there are like you know uh, the criteria that i i found it's very important and like you know market is a, a kind of a game of a probability so we need to have the highest possible probability in order to in order to win right now so for example this auto block auto block first condition it has to break a structure okay uh, otherwise that's not an auto block so this for example this uh i'm gonna say i say this this is not an auto block it doesn't break anything okay it has to break the structure that's the first basic criteria uh, second criteria is is which is highly probable is it's break of structure uh, plus liquidity grab so for example so this uh, candle took a liquidity uh, you know before this low just you know uh, and it it move away so we'll talk about what is liquidity grab in, in coming videos but just for now remember it, it just weak out and then move up uh, that, that's highly probable uh, the uh, more confirmation uh, that we are going long 
and highest probable is like you know the mitigation play so for example um, this one okay so the order block is highest probable if it comes back tap this mitigates the order and then move up okay so that's like so this keep this uh, uh, notes uh, kind of stuff you will it will help you to you know when to trade when not to trade kind of stuff when when that those things comes up but this is a video just for an order block and outline of the course okay so if you have any questions please let me know in the comment and if you if you like it uh, the way uh, i outline the course let me know uh, in the comment okay so for now uh, that's it for today